Hello everybody, my name is Ksoc, and today we are back again with some vanilla Minecraft. Now, last couple episodes have been fairly uneventful. We've been building out our base here, and we've been kind of focusing more on that than exploration. Today, we're gonna do some exploring, change up the script a little bit. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do though is definitely change that shield, because that shield is almost about to break. So... Let's get to that. I'm wondering if I have enough uh, stuff to do it. Just gonna drop off these thingies and grab some wood here. I think I need to get um, a new set of most everything, except for a shovel. I got a shovel, but I will make an extra pickaxe and an extra sword, because I definitely need those. Um, extra pickaxe, an iron sword as a backup, and I am going to make another shield and keep that in my inventory. Uh, should I take a bow with me? Um, yeah, get rid of the sticks, the cobblestone, and the coal. Just get have some extra food with me. Oh, I should probably get rid of the wood too. Make bone meal, and then deposit in here. Okay, and then anything I can drop off in just my normal chest, might as well. And I'm also gonna put my compass in here. Actually, no, I am going to keep my compass with me, just so it knows how to guide me home. Oh, it's nighttime. Whoop, there we go. I mean, it's not going to make much of a difference considering that I'll be exploring underground where mobs are abundant, but it'll allow me to at least not have any trouble on the way out. Now, we did have a skeleton farm down there, so we might ignore that one for the time being and go somewhere else. Find another place to uh, mine. There is a, uh, another location over here that I found. Should I turn auto jump off? I should probably turn auto jump off. Auto jump off. There we go. Now I can feel like a lot more just classic Minecraft here. I am going to uh, get more sand because I need that. Oh, did I dig myself down? I don't know what just happened there, but it happened. I need all this sand so I can get my, uh, I'm gonna swim up. There we go. Get some air. I forget how short time, uh, how short of a time we can spend underwater. I have no idea how I can lengthen that time. But I'm gonna have to figure it out if I do want to farm for more sand before too long. Yeah, this shovel is getting very low. But, hey, how has everybody been doing? I've personally been very good. I've, uh, seen kind of a, a surge in my, uh, viewership recently. I've been streaming a lot more. Uh, if you guys are interested in any Final Fantasy XIV, I've been doing that. But I think, by far, the series that I'm most proud of on this channel is um this one right here the uh the minecraft series just because it looks the best like it's really a lot of the work that gus has put in to this is evident that uh that i mean it's the best produced series on this channel i think a lot more work a lot more uh time and effort has been put into this series so it's definitely a point of pride for me and i think it also kind of uh shows what wonderful friends i have honestly i'm i'm, I'm getting a little uh sentimental over here but honestly i can't i won't be able to do this without the support of my friends both online and in real life and definitely gonna take this time to just say Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everybody who's been supporting me throughout this whole thing. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. And especially you, Gus, you editor. Actually, how about this? We take this time while I'm just kind of digging out sand and going out mining. Gus, uh, if you would like, please take this time to introduce yourself. Like, uh... Hello, I am Gus, and I'm the editor of the series. And let me just say, it has been an honor to watch you grow, both in this channel and in your knowledge of this game. So, here's to more of, uh, that, I suppose. That is all. Ooh, what's that over there? Are those mushrooms? That, that doesn't look like mushrooms. They have cobwebs everywhere. Before I move in, though, I should probably eat something. Regain all of my health. Okay, so there's farms. What is this place? Are there any villagers? Cartographer's table. Can I... No? Okay. Empty map, empty map. Um, let me just take everything, I guess. New recipes unlocked, okay. Ah, shit, did I forget to bring a bed? I definitely forgot to bring a bed. Let's make our way back here real quick. Unless I can kill enough sheep. In that case, we can survive. There's two. 
There's three. Okay. So when push comes to shove, let me just make a uh, crafting table. If push comes to shove, we can make ourselves a bed and make it out a night out here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But I do want to see what's going on here. There's farms. Is this like a map making town? A smoker. Okay. How do I get out of this? Come on. Is this not how you break things? There we go. Ooh, gray sheep. Oh. Hello. A zombie villager. Okay. Oh, there's a bed right there. Um, let's see. Wood. Pickaxe. Okay, it's definitely getting to nighttime here. Respawn point set. I hear a cat. Very slowly making my way out of here. So is this what happened to this town? It got uh, all of them turned into zombies? Repair and disenchant. Okay. What happened here? Ooh, there's a bell. Ding. <laughs> Gimme. Bell. I got a bell. This place is interesting. What happened? Um, don't need that. Don't need the armor, but I will take the bread. That's just a block of some kind. Got some water. All right. Some salmon. There's plenty of sand here. There's a bridge. Something caused this water to come down into this little farm area. But there's definitely a bridge built here. Someone trying to escape something, maybe? I don't know. It is also eerily quiet. I don't like, I don't like that part. While I'm here, I'm just gonna take some sand. There we go. Some, uh... Cacti? Ooh, this feels dangerous. Oh shit, okay. Um, that is a surefire way to a cave-in. Oh fuck! Okay, well there goes all my torches. I was right about a surefire way to a cave-in. Um, trying to think of all the safe sandstone retrieval areas. Yeah, no, all- oh, there's iron. I'm gonna take some of that. Always appreciate some more iron. Causing this whole place to cave in. Huh. Oof. Oh, hey, look. I'll take that. Make up for the losses. Well, oh, here's another one. Whoa. What's going on over there? I also don't want to go too far away from my, uh, my home camp. Just because, uh, all my stuff's there. And I also have a lot of stuff that I'm just carrying with me. Plus, I didn't bring... Oh, my God, my inventory's full. All right, definitely a time to start heading back. Uh, I just gotta follow my compass now, because where I want to go is exactly at a uh, set home set point. Oh, shit. Okay. Make my way safely down this hill. Ooh, bunnies! I wonder if I can kill one. Oh, that one's running away. Okay, I'm not gonna even try then. Horses. No, I don't have rope. Okay. I'm not gonna try and saddle one right now then. And I'm gonna get as much- I'm probably gonna just casually grab some meat on the way back. Because I definitely need the meat. I just gotta follow it straight ahead. What is that? What is that? That's weird. Gold nugget, fire charge? I can't carry anymore. Um, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Grab all of these. Huh, there's a curse of binding on this thing. Oh, what's this? Can I mine this right now? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, how about this? Oh, my inventory's full, right. I'm not sure if I'll ever run into this again, but I guess as a general rule of thumb, just go exactly the opposite direction. Oh no, never mind. That's that's not how you find things. Well, I guess that's just a strange occurrence to write off for another day when I run into it. I think I see my base from here. I just take my sweet ass time getting there. And these are the tree this is the place where the trees stood that I cut down. Okay. I ran into a beehive, and I know better than to... I thought I saw a beehive, at least, somewhere along the way. So, uh, let's go back, get some stuff smelting, make make ourselves some more, uh, torches, and then go out and explore some more again, because that was interesting. I like that. Ah, uh, phew, okay. I am going to drop off the obsidian, the obscene amount of sand, and the sandstone. We'll turn all the oak logs into oak doors, oak trap doors, bowls... A cartography table. Now, a cartography table is something that I'm interested in. Actually, I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna Google this and figure it out, figure out what it is. Ah, okay. Oh, it definitely is nighttime. Gonna sleep. All right. I did not realize that's how you made a map. Okay, I got plenty of food. Let's just do the iron ore for now. Uh, I'll keep the bread on me. 
grab a single map and stick it here somewhere. There we go. That should be enough for a while. Okay, so, wow. A lot of the adjoining area I've already established. Now, the stuff further south I haven't. This is all stuff for the north. Maybe I should start up there then. I guess to the east. So let's go east. So that way we can at least make sure that we, we're on the map. And we'll, uh, actually, we can start right here. Maybe not so close to that. We'll go a little further north, and then we'll head west. This seems like a good spot. There we go. And we will we'll make our way down from here towards the heart of the mountain. So in the comments, I would like to know, like, what is the most profound thing that you have either experienced because of Minecraft? And it doesn't have to be like profound as in like incredibly thought provoking or like super duper. Um, uh, it doesn't have to be like thought provoking or anything. It's just like strange, unusual, like things that you wouldn't expect in Minecraft. Or if, if it's thought-provoking, like some kind of existential crisis, also share that. Because honestly, I want, I'm want i wanting to hear what kind of thoughts people are having playing Minecraft. Like, that's I, th I think that'll be fascinating to hear. Oh, wrong tool. This one. What goes on inside your head while you play Minecraft? Or do, are you the type of person that just plays head empty, no thoughts during Minecraft? Just don't think about a thing and just play a game. Because that, that's an entirely valid way of doing things as well, honestly. And going down... For me, I prefer to um, not play brain empty, although I do know that that's a thing that some people do. Uh, I prefer to just let the thoughts come to me. Minecraft is certainly a reflective game for me. Like what, oh, like things to think about. When things are too rough outside, when there's too much to think about, start playing Minecraft, think about something else. Like that's, that's the kind of process that I go through personally. Definitely kind of, uh, it costs me in some aspects, especially when, uh, I need to think about like what to do next or when I'm wanting to do ma massive builds. It's definitely a detriment when I decidedly choose not to have any thoughts. <laughs> it could be helpful in instances like these where I'm just digging and I really need to just let my mind free or else I would be bored to death because my thoughts will keep me up or m keep me from like actually slowing down and enjoying the experience of just digging in Minecraft. Ooh, I am almost out of a pickaxe. Definitely gonna have to leave here pretty soon. I'm hoping that it's not nighttime by the time I come out, but it might be. All right, time to head out. Ooh, it is daytime. All right, but maybe not for much longer. What should I do to mark this spot? Granite. That's a red color. Very uh, evident. Mark out an area on the map. Oh, shit. The little red line there in the middle of the forest. That is where this area is and where I have to come back to in order to make it back and mine further. Let's go back down here and sleep. Okay, I can see the line there. Let's drop off this some of these items. Holy cow, I need to get another uh, another double chest in order to make sure that I have enough space for uh, items here. All right, let's grab this, uh, add to the coal. Uh, let's just put sand in there for the time being. Oh, crap, uh, yeah, I need to grab an iron pickaxe. Let's see. All right. Let's get back to digging here. What I'm hoping won't happen is I keep digging and uh, it's just like, oh yeah, I guess we're back at the edge of the mountain here. Ah, I, f I dumped everything down there over at the base. I can't just uh, mark it with more red. Keep digging down here. I am going to put this in my offhand just in case. Just stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks of fucking cobblestone, which I am going to need for my build, but definitely going to be a big pay load of cobblestone when I leave. Let's just keep going a few more blocks this way. Uh, I think I've decided that I'm gonna go by three by three passageways and then transition to four by three for a little while when I'm going down further and then go back to three by three. So like here is going to be a four by three because I'm going to be going down one block. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this, by the way. This is just how I feel, how, how I think I should be doing things, just doing things at my own pace. And then here I'll transfer back to three by three. Once it's kind of established that we're at a, a lower down area. I feel like that's a good way of doing things. I'm just hoping that we find a, uh, a vein of something other than cobblestone. Let's actually try digging down like steps. Oh, is that soil? Are we, did we hit the edge of the mountain? Damn it, all right. Oh, it's just for a block. Maybe we haven't. 
make sure everything's lit up here. Oh boy. All right, let's turn this way then to the left and just dig the rest of this kind of passageway and then we'll turn this way and we'll just keep digging down. How many cobblestones have I gotten? Two, three full stacks. Oh boy, we're just gonna go further down. Okay, that's why we got two extras. Oh, there's something. I'm just gonna dig out a couple steps here. Good, good, all right, we hit a vein. Quite the large vein too. Let's cut into this direction and just head down. Ooh, more iron, great. I'm actually very appreciative of that. I don't know if that sounded sarcastic, but it really wasn't. Always appreciate more iron, otherwise known as the AMI principle. Create a quick little acronym for that. You know, there's a song that's been stuck in my head and it's not the one that I was just humming. If y'all know a uh, YouTuber by the name of Joe Cat, uh, if you haven't seen him, I definitely recommend you do. Super talented. Uh, he's got a lot of the same interests as I do, uh, including Final Fantasy XIV and D&D, which are the two things that I found him for. He did a cover, I think, God, who, who's the original person that did it? There's a song called um, Boys, or I Like Boys or something like that. And it's just the singer is listing off all the types of boys that she likes and it it's pretty much covers all of them. But um, uh, Joe Cat made a cover of it, but it's just all types of girls. And so now it's just looping in my head. It's like, I like big girls, pretty kitty girls. It's just like, oh God, it's so good. Joe Cat is just so good. Shout out to Joe Cat for being a perfect, perfectly good and nice human being. Honestly, probably, ooh. I don't like that. That is the opposite of Joe Cat. I like Joe Cat. I don't like that. I'm hearing like magma. I'm guessing that I'm nearing some kind of a uh, area. Is it coming from down below? We got one more pickaxe to find the end of this trip to try and find where this uh, magma sound is coming from. If I remember correctly, diamonds start appearing at minus 12. So we're definitely in the area. Now it's just a matter of actually finding it. Let's see here. The sounds are getting much closer. I think they're coming from this direction. Yeah, definitely sounds close coming from this direction. You know why I know it's coming from this direction? It's cause it's surrounded by this red stuff. Red stuff is angry. There it is, like I said, red stuff is angry like lava. So that's gotta be where it's coming from. All right. We found it, boys and girls and nine non-binary people. Pals? Nine non-binary pals. There we go. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals. But it just looks like this is... Oh, shit. Almost stepped in that. It's just a lava room. Nothing much else to this place, maybe? Definitely going to be using some of this cobblestone to patch up this area here. Make it easier to cross through. There we go. But if I remember correctly, where lava is, there might be a good chance of diamonds being nearby. So I will go searching for those. I should probably mark off where I came from very clearly. I don't want to back up accidentally into some lava. Mark there, mark there. There we go. Gotta make it three by three and one higher. Start here. Clean that part and keep moving like so and this all the way down here no that's not what i wanted to do there now we can continue with the three by three at least until this pickaxe break it breaks and then we'll head out there we go all right drop that there and we're gonna head out uh since this is right over the entrance i'm going to cover all that up and i think i'm gonna fill this in too just so i don't mistake it when i come back in there now to head back out and i'm gonna leave a couple more uh torches here and there in places where it just seems extra dark. Don't want any accidental uh, spawnings happening down here. We didn't find any diamonds today, but I think we found a couple of uh, primo digging spots. Definitely got some more iron and we found a couple of interesting locations. I thought I heard some zombie. Ooh, it's pretty deep in the nighttime. All right, let's head home. There we go. Okay, get rid of those guys, rush home. You know, I think I've changed my uh, view on Minecraft, especially in how I fear mobs. Like, I, they're a lot less scary now that I'm a little more prepared. They are still scary in big droves, but they're not as scary as before. All right, but with that being said, I think it's time that I'm going to end this episode. 
I thank everybody for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. I hear some zombies dying in the background. They're probably dying from sunlight, but I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and I would love to see you again in the next episode of my Minecraft tutorial. I also do live streams for like half the week now because it's a lot easier than editing my own videos. The only reason why this Minecraft series is persisting because of the lovely work that my friend Gus is doing, and I cannot be a lot more thankful for that. And I do hope you guys like Gus's introduction of himself in this video. I think it's about time that he got his due recognition and that he's got his time in the spotlight. With that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day, wonderful rest of their week, wonderful rest of their month, and, and of course, a wonderful rest of their year. But beyond that, I wish everybody here a wonderful rest of their life. And this is KSOC signing out. Bye, everybody. Hello, uh, I mean, hello I am Gus, and uh, I'm the editor of this channel, and it has been an honor to watch you grow, both in, did I say this channel? Let me start over, I'll just fix it in post.